Hey gents, welcome to VEDA, August 2013, day two. Today we're going to talk about the ball python, and especially the facts and myths and misconceptions about these fantastic animals. So the ball python, Python regius, or the royal python as it's known to our friends in the UK, is a non-venomous species of python native to West Africa. They normally grow to lengths of between three and four and a half feet, with the females being larger than the males. Although six foot ball pythons have been known to exist, is very rare. In their natural habitat, they prefer moist burrows in the ground, especially in the grasslands and open forest and savanna. They normally prey upon the native rodent population, which include small mammals such as rats and mice and shrews. In captivity, they're normally fed rats and mice, which are bred specifically for that purpose. So now we got our facts out of the way, so let's move on to our myths and misconceptions about these animals. Number one, snakes are slimy. No, no they're not. They're actually extremely smooth. Number two, they are dangerous and will track down and kill your pets and your children and every other sort of thing. Along with if you're lying down and a snake comes up and lies down next to you lengthways, such as this, they're trying to measure you up to see if they can eat you. Alright, so ball pythons are considered one of the most docile snakes as far as captive snakes are concerned. They normally only strike if they feel provoked, if, uh, if they find there to be a threat, especially if they're in the middle of a shed, in which case their eyes, their eye caps actually, it's a scale that goes over their eye, clouds over, and before they shed they have a hard time seeing, so they feel threatened easily. As far as sizing up their prey, no, just, just no. These snakes would never have the opportunity to do that in the wild and like I said the animals that they eat are rats and mice. The recommended size of the food that they should eat in captivity, rats and mice, are supposed to be about 10% of their body weight or no wider than the girth of the thickest part of their body. And no, they do not go on murderous rampages around your house trying to eat your pets and your children. It's just not possible. They don't have the ability to do it. Even on the rare occasion that they escape out of their cage, and ball pythons are known for being escape artists, they don't go looking for things to kill. They go looking for warm places to hide and cuddle up. She's only escaped once and I found her lying in the middle of the kitchen floor. I got lucky. I've heard plenty of stories of people losing them and finding them in their couch cushions days later or underneath the radiator vents. So obviously they're not as dangerous as a lot of people think they are. Myth number three, they carry disease, especially salmonella. Although technically they do carry salmonella, as long as you don't lick the snake or put it in your mouth, you should be pretty much fine. It's a good practice to wash your hands after handling them, even something as much as the gel hand sanitizer should be more than fine. And as long as you stay on top of trying to keep their cage clean, scooping out any urea or feces that is in the cage, and trying to give it a good scrub down at least once a month, it should be fine. Salmonella shouldn't be as much of a concern as a lot of people think it is. Too many people have misguided fears of snakes and hopefully this video served to inform some people who have these misguided fears. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe and as always, we'll catch you next time.